Last time we saw Assad, he was spreading mass information, doubling down, and demonizing anyone who corrected him. IDF didn't bomb the hospital? Yes, it did! Yes, it did! Fucking piece of shit. Yes, it absolutely did! Fuck you! Fuck you! You title scumbag! And since we called him out on all of this, it's put him in free fall. He's gone mask off on how he covers every geopolitical issue. When you look at a situation in the Middle East, you look at what the local government is and who the Western forces are. Never align with the Western forces. He's had massive cope sessions while he's on vacation. Baboon brained idiot, unserious child, literally barely f surviving due to modern medicine. You are a dumb f You are a You are so unserious. I hate you. I despise you openly. I don't talk about you. But I didn't expect him to sink so low that he would be glorifying a terrorist live on stream. Does he know what One Piece is? Dude, we, we think um, we think uh, the Houthis on Allah is doing uh, what Luffy would do. You should tell him that. And of course, if you're critical of Hassan at all for this, you're racist. It's sad, but this is how America views Arabs? Yeah, 100%. So stupid and racist. This is insane. It's like, how can he get worse? And then every time he does, it blows my mind. Almost as much as the Galaxy Projector 2.0 any room into a planetarium. Any room, you could take a cosmic crap if you want. The Galaxy Projector is highly customizable all through the wrap, allowing you to change the color, the speed, the brightness of the stars. My favorite use for it is on those late night gaming sessions where you could really immerse yourself, losing track of time. And it's smart too, allowing you to hook up your Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant. From gaming and movies to parties and relaxation, it's a great piece and it'll make your space a little more unique. And with Valentine's Day coming up, I mean, who knows, maybe you get a little spicy under the stars? I know I've done it. <laughs> Make sure to use code Willie Mac Show with the link in the description to get 15% off. Thank you, Galaxy Lamps, for sponsoring this video. A Houthi terrorist ended up going viral on TikTok after posting a video of them capturing a cargo ship. People think he's hot, nicknaming him Tim Houthi Charlemagne after the actor. And Tassan wanted to interview him for the sake of journalism. Bro, are we about to have a Houthi rebel on stream? Yes, brother. What do you mean? Excuse me. Of course I'm about to have a... What, what do you, I'm a journalist, okay? This is journalism. I actually agree with him. It would be legitimate journalism. You'd be able to get the Houthi perspective when it comes to the Yemen civil war, as well as ask questions about them attacking merchant ships on behalf of Gaza. But it becomes crystal clear that Hassan doesn't want to do journalism. He just wants to be friends with this guy. He opens the interview by asking one real question. How does... Uh, what is the mood in, in Yemen overall since America started uh, uh, bombing uh, positions in Sana'a and other places? He's saying that um, it's um, it's pretty usual. They've been used to this um, for 11 years now, and they're not uh, scared. That's that's crazy. Yeah, I can't wait to hear the follow up. Does he does he know what One Piece is? One Piece, like, is that an organization? No, One Piece is an anime. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it Lofi? Yeah, he said he's he's been watching it since he was a kid. <laughs> the whole way. Yeah. That's sick. Yes. Yes. That's fire. That's uh, that's so fire. Oh my god. Dude, we we think um we think uh, the Houthis on Allah is doing uh what Luffy would do. You should tell him that. What the f Oh, the Houthi are like One Piece? Dude, they're firing missiles at commercial ships and taking civilians hostage. Hassan thinks it's awesome, showing footage of the guys taking over the ship and comparing it to Rust the video game. It's pretty wild that they're doing rust. Like they're doing, this is literally rust. Why are they capturing the ship? They said that any any ship that they can get their hands on that's like an Israeli ship, they're gonna intercept. Except they're not just attacking Israeli ships. Reports say that the last dozen attacks have zero Israeli affiliation. But yeah, otherwise they're just like those happy cartoon pirates. At one point, the guy straight up admits to taking people as hostages. What does he think about China? Oh. Does he know anything about China? He's saying he hasn't spent much time with Chinese people, but one of the captains, the captain was Chinese and he, uh, he, he did caught with them and he, uh, uh, danced some music with them and he was vibing. So he, 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 he likes him. Yeah. <laughs> so what, I mean, what, <laughs> that's so crazy. So they're just fucking chilling with the captains. Like, I don't yeah. understand. To be clear, we're talking about a man they took hostage. <laughs> America's like bomb. So America's like blowing them up while they're just like doing cat and, and fucking chilling with the captains. Like, how does he feel about that? Isn't that?
fucking crazy. Like, I don't know how to describe it. What, Hassan? Do you think they're on vacation? America is attacking Yemen because they hear firing missiles at commercial ships. They're not hanging out. They're captives. He's saying that, um, they, like, they went over the, the, um, the crews on these ships and they like like win them over with their charm and they make them hate america and the u.s government <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny okay that doesn't probably take much uh <laughs> To be fair. Hassan's the type of guy to see the old American concentration camp propaganda and think it looks fun. Quarters were being built where they would have an opportunity to work and more space in which to live. Hassan would say how generous to put him in a warm climate. When Hassan described himself as a propagandist, I thought maybe he didn't understand the definition of the word. I'm um, a propagandist. Well, no, no. For the record. I'm, no, no, I'm not quoting you. I'm a you propagandist. Just, no, no, I'm just saying. I'm gonna no, play I say, you. I'm saying I am. But he's doing legitimate propaganda here for the Houthis. He's saying they've all tried caught, including the captain of the of the ship that he went on. He's saying that the vibes are immaculate. <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> he's, saying, he's saying he's saying he he wants us to visit. <laughs> oh, dude, I would love to. One day. I'm I am afraid of America uh, bombs though. I have shown you four minutes of a 45 second interview. The rest of this thing is just a sign trying to get approval from a Houthi terrorist. Tell them that uh, this community, this community of mostly Americans raised uh, more than a million dollars for Palestinian charities. What does he, what does he have to say to dumbasses uh, that uh, consider him to be a terrorist? What does he, what does he think about that? That's uh, what come do on. in Turkey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. What do you mean? I'm just fucking chilling. We're just having a. We're just. We're just vibing, dude. Just no, I know. This is this is the dream blunt rotation right here. Yeah, we're just we're just vibing. We're vibing big time. Okay, this is the this is the international language that everybody understands. Uh, cursing, exactly. fucking football, and and uh, all this shit. But he, but they don't have any. They don't have any like. Uh, you know, he doesn't have any time to watch fucking anime and shit, so I don't know. I don't know what else to ask about. How about something relevant? That would be cool. At one point, a viewer suggests a question. Um. <clears throat> okay, what else do I want to ask? What else do I want to ask? So, like, I mean, he's... Uh, ask him if he would stop going on Bose of Israel stops a genocide. I mean, yeah, he's going to say yes, chat. What are you talking about? Those are like uh, dumbass questions. Has he ever had like, uh, like Western food? How is that a better question? The interview is Hassan gobbling this dude. What does he, what does he have to say to dumbasses, uh, that, uh, consider him to be a terrorist? What does he, what does he think about that? Ask that question. I just banned one of those stupid fuckers in the chat just now. Um, <laughs> he says, who are they? Just. Fucking dumbasses. It's the president who said it. How else would you describe these attacks? Hassan was very proud of this interview, posting art of him and the pirate as One Piece characters, reinforcing the idea that he does a better job than mainstream news coverage. This is what the job of like media is supposed to be. Bro, he was the sweetest kid that wished no harm, kept showing love throughout the interview, and these are the people that in the West deprives of their humanity and cause terrorists. Exactly. If I killed my neighbors, would you interview me, please? That's fun, dude. That's real nice, brother. Um, did you, did he kill somebody? Is that what you're saying? Did the crew of the galaxy ship kidnap or bomb anyone? Hassan's only way to engage with this is to start calling everyone racist. Oh, uh, it's sad, but this is how America views Arabs. Yeah, 100%. So stupid and racist. This is how desperate white supremacist Nazis are, okay? You are behaving in the exact same way that the jawless, chinless Iowa Nazis behave. Oh, I know I can't, I can't get a job and I don't want to examine the material conditions. Everyone has told me that as a white man, I'm supposed to be so powerful and none of that happens. So what must be the real problem? Oh, that's right. I'm going to go dominate black people real quick. I'm going to go act like I am superior to them. I am descended of the Nord Vikings, but you're not. You're a fucking loser. Just like that fucking Nazi is a loser. You are the exact same kind of loser. Instead of looking for some esoteric, mythical Nordic rune that you want to identify with, you have identified with being an American pig. What are you talking about, bro? Hassan's framing this as if this is a random Yemeni 19 year old that only wants love and peace. He's not, he's admitted to taking hostages. He's a member of the Houthi whose flag says, God is the greatest, death to America, death to Israel, a curse upon the Jews, victory to Islam. This kid's TikTok has him calling people a son of a Jew as an insult. He posted to Twitter, the meaning of Houthi is a title and it is not something to fear, but for the Jews, they are very afraid of this title and Hassan's community defends him. Son of a Jew is a popular slang among Arabs. Jew in most Arabic dialect means stingy, 
It is racist and very stereotypical, but it's a word that completely lost its meaning, and most people have been using it blindly for decades without connecting it to the Jews. Hassan framing himself as an expert on this issue when he can't even recognize the Houthi flag is hilarious. I take that screen off uh, image. Wait, what? That banner is spicy, bro. Wait, what does the banner say? The translation of that shouldn't be kept on screen. Oh, okay. Well, I have no idea what it says, so uh, I don't know. No wonder his interview sucked. He doesn't know anything about them. If you support the Houthi for attacking commercial vessels on behalf of Palestine, I think that's fine, but you don't have to coddle this guy. He acts like he's about to give him sloppy toppy. Yeah, Tim Houthi, Chalamet, we saw already, obviously. I talked about this already. This dude is like, dude, nobody has an answer to this, okay? I'm sorry. If you're this effortlessly cool and good looking while you are overtaking a commercial vessel on international waters that are 100 miles off of your country's coastline, Israel and America have no answer to counter this propaganda. That's it. It's Jover. You are now officially a real life monkey D. Luffy, okay? Yeah, you know who was on the fucking terrorist watch list? Nelson Mandela until 2008, by the way. So if you want to understand what America's positions are and who they choose to be, who they choose to put on the terrorist watch list, just, you know, really reconsider for a second. You're that incurious that you don't want to know what it's like for someone who has lived under a vicious bombing campaign for 11 of the 19 years of his life. We never got to know. You never asked. Hassan would obviously get some heat from this terrible interview, but he would fail to understand it. CNN literally gets to interview Taliban leaders and and even members of al-qaeda which these guys are not like at all for the record i am just mentioning that specifically to show you that like this is what the job of like media is supposed to be the problem is not that you interviewed him it's how you interviewed him gave me chicken and waffles with the nazi vibes that's great that's a great question or that's a great point to raise here except there is this person is not a nazi in the united states of america he's not a nazi in Yemen either. You are suspecting him of being that because you're primed into assuming that this 19 year old is straight up a, a you know, a Nazi. He's giving you Nazi vibes, I guess. Yeah, bro. I wonder why. I can't do anything to help you sort out your own internal biases that makes you feel like, this is not a good thing, this is a bad thing. He would then bring up Destiny talking to Nick Fuentes and say that was worse. Yeah, people will be like, hey, can you please debate Nazis? And then we'll be like, but if you talk to a 19-year-old that is from Yemen, then that's unacceptable. Yeah, dude, I know a lot of you would probably much prefer all of my naysayers, would much prefer me having chicken and waffles with a fucking neo-Nazi who was, like, infinitely more damaging to American politics and also just the world in general as a byproduct of how much America fucking, uh, hypes up Nazi ass politics and its fucking foreign policy and in its domestic conduct as well. But guess what, dude? You know, I think this is infinitely more valuable. To give some context here, Nick Fuentes sucks. He unironically wants segregation. It's not about the color of your skin or your race. It's about your morality. It's about your decision making what's right what's wrong how do we treat other people um well i mean you could say that but the thing is is that you know human beings have a tendency to fight with each other and and the th you can say that we could say that sitting down here but what happens when what what would happen if you and i were living in the same house mm -hmm. that that's the kind of concept when you and i are on a discord call we're sort of strangers and we're talking about ideas that's great but what if we're living in the same house and there's a fight over you know who gets to shower when and who gets this seat on the couch and who these are the kinds of things that happen in a dense wait do you think you'd fight with him population. because he's black wait, wait, over that i wouldn't fight about stuff like that and whoa, 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 hold on I want to hear Destiny's, the answer to Destiny's question. Well, yeah, would yeah. you fight more with a black person over who gets to use the shower? Yes, over... yes. And, here, and here's why. Because <laughs> when, <laughs> when Destiny or CNN interview questionable characters, they don't agree with their extremist points of view. Destiny doesn't call Nick Captain America. And it's here when you realize Hassan's policies are not that principled. In fact, he comes right out and says it. It's America bad all the time. That's it. Let me explain to you. Two principles that you should keep with you, coming from a person who's Turkish, okay? When you look at a situation in the Middle East, you look at what the local government is and who the Western forces are. 
Never align with the Western forces. That's a principle that you could take home with you. If you want to actually be moral or if you want to be smart about the way you analyze other countries, that's one basic principle that you can take home with you. All of a sudden, magically, you are above on your foreign policy analysis. You're going to be better off than 90% of people that look at the situation. When a chatter would bring up how Iran and Russia also destabilized the Middle East by funding all of these terrorist groups, Hassan would freak out. How else is there going to be stability? Just genocide all of them. Genocide the Middle East. Permanent third world genocide. How else will there be stability? How else? Is that what your argument is? No, it's not. He actually wrote it out quite clearly. Ah, it's the one constant in life. Hassan can't engage with your argument, so he makes up one for you. It's oddly comforting at this point. Brother, please. I beg of you, okay? Just take a deep breath and really think about your output here, okay? You are a f***ing neocon. You might fancy yourself to be a liberal, to be an intellectual, to be above that, but you are no different than a Christian fascist neocon with this way of thinking, you f***ing animal. F Whoever doesn't align with the Western world deserves to get killed and deserves to get slaughtered. That's crazy. What does any of this have to do with what that guy wrote? Why are there three-year chatters being openly racist in here? Because they're American. Since I started covering Hassan in November, it's led to a wave of people exposing just how bad he is at his job. And instead of just trying and putting in a little bit of effort, Hassan has chosen the path of paranoia. Hassan interviewing the Houthi pirate would make it on LSF. LSF is a Reddit forum where all streaming drama gets talked about. His own fan posting it to Reddit made Hassan have a meltdown. This is not even about policies for these f***ing losers, dude. That's the guy who is trying to get me banned right now on f***ing LSF, dude. Yikes. I'm not trying to get you banned. I've been following you for years. Yeah. You posted on... Really, dude? You're not trying to get me banned? You literally posted on the subreddit that literally has actively gotten me banned numerous times. Hassan is currently live streaming with an actual Houthi terrorist according to the US government. Oh God, what a f loser you are oh my god that's exactly what you did fucking rat he then cried to the mods of the subreddit asking to censor criticism hey can i please get taken off lsf like permanently i just don't understand why i still get harassed for two years now like this has become a lol cow thing for the destiny brigaders at this point it's formulaic it's not about accountability or truth it's just dunking on me for my view count getting lower don't understand why that is even remotely relevant to the Twitch discourse. It's been like this for years now. Hey, which thread are you talking about specifically? The one dunking on you for your lower view count has already been removed at this time as we found it violating our rules. Yeah, I saw, I assume they'll repost it again later and brigade it about how the mods are protecting me or some shit. The point is it's all LSF is for many, a vector to prop up attacks. Just no utility bound, a place to try and get people to join a lol cow forum on another subreddit. For me, I mean, for others it's seemingly fine. It's been way worse since the gambling drama, which got XQC to also start doing the same shit. Just mentioning what Hassan did has him pearl clutching and crying. He's so brain broken and unself-aware, he criticizes people for doing research. The idea that there is no real journalistic interest here, okay, is laughable. So please do not get your information from Wikipedia consuming, Reddit point regurgitating, YouTube debate lords if you want to be in the know. Hassan is discrediting Destiny for getting his information from Wikipedia, but Hassan gets his information from Twitter. It's why he gets every geopolitical issue wrong over the past two years. Who are we kidding? This is his analysis. What am I looking at with my own two eyes? What are you looking at? I have no evidence? Don't believe your fuck What do you mean? Does that strike you as a fucking misfire? Fin the bus tonight. Tonight, tonight. If Destiny is so stupid and wrong, go debate him. You clearly want to. I'm watching you cry about it while you're vacationing in Italy. It's depressing. Is a fucking baboon brained idiot, unserious child literally barely surviving due to modern medicine? You are so stupid. I despise you openly. I don't talk about you. Not because I'm like scared of the fucking consequences or anything. Mostly because I know that you will take this as a uh, as an opportunity to like make a larger 
uh, clout farming operation off of it. I sold a hat. It was a good bit. Everything is drama farming. People don't want to... People don't want to consume politics in a meaningful way. This is the first time in my entire life where I've been like, man, it's taking a fucking toll on me. <sighs> Leftist Twitter discourse is disgusting, okay? It's disgusting. It's why fascists will always win regardless. And honestly, they have better organizational tools than a lot of you dumb motherfuckers. Okay. Who's the fascist? Everyone who's not him? That's convenient. He's saying since there's people that are more successful than him, no one should cover his mistakes. It's so weird. Just ask yourself, who is in power in this country? Who is in power globally? Is it right-wing fascists? Or is it ultra tankies? You know what I mean? Marxist Leninist ultras that are like shining past supporters. Okay? Who is it? Who actually has real power? So if it's the right-wing psychopaths and the right-wing fascists and the white supremacists, then why the f*** do you spend 90% of your commentary shitting on other random, completely powerless, completely irrelevant, myself included, by the way, don't ever listen to anyone that says, I am a genuinely powerful political figure. They are drama farming. They say it because they want to justify and moralize the criticism. They're just trying to f***ing cloud farm. I shit on Ben Shapiro all the goddamn time. Ben Shapiro sits on top of a fucking media throne worth millions of fucking dollars, okay? So anyone that tells you, well, I shit on Hassan because, like, I have disagreements with him because he's an incredibly fucking popular media figure on the left is fucking lying to you. I am not anywhere near as relevant as Ben Shapiro. Don't say I'm dodging responsibility. Suck my dick. You are, dude. You've now set the arbitrary requirement where you have to be as popular as Ben Shapiro to be criticized. Bro, you're the biggest left-leaning political streamer. Should everyone just allow you to make stuff up? That's what he actually wants. Do you think my output on the world is anywhere near as negative as a Ben Shapiro? Because if you say yes, then you might either A, be a Ben Shapiro fan, or B, absolutely baboon brain dumbass with no discernible politics whatsoever, okay? That's the point. People say this all the time, where they're like, uh, you're just dodging responsibility. That's a really weird thing to fucking say, because it's very, I'm very serious about this, okay? Do you think my overall output is a net negative? Yes, your brand is division and misinformation for the sake of propaganda. Hmm, do I think Hassan's brand is a net negative? If I make a prediction or a speculation, it can sometimes be wrong. IDF didn't bomb the hospital? Yes, it did. Yes, it fucking did. You fucking piece of shit. Yes, it absolutely did. Fuck you, Fuck you, genocidal scumbag. You have no fucking dignity. You do not have an ounce of dignity inside of your soul. You fucking piece of shit. You garbage, monstrous scumbag. You garbage, monstrous scumbag. Why did you fucking lie? How can you live with yourself, you genocidal piece of shit? So at the end of all of this, is there at least one thing I could say that's positive about Hassan? Yeah, he still gets up and leaves when the video's playing, not abiding by fair use at all, but now his editor adds in a fake Hassan to stare at the screen. Demanding answers amid an escalating spat with Pakistan. Overnight, Pakistan launched pee. retaliatory strikes on targets in southeastern Iran, just across their shared border. Doesn't make it any better, but it is funny. Subscribe to the channel and be sure to check out Galaxy Lamps. Shout out to the homies over on Patreon. Phoebes, Crimson Glass, Christina Vina, Mac Monkey, Drink, Kobex, Necro Valley, Stefan Billman, Friday 13, Abby Blackbird, Eddie Bizzle, Tiz Fitz, Christopher H, Kinklemore, and the mega homies, Ronald Hughes, Hellison, IGP, Zombie Fox, Your Taxi, Latchkey, Gothboy, Cyber Katie, Lori Loaded, Papa Gut, Caden Lulin, Louis G, XO Irish XO, BA Subway TV Anthology Reviews, Hawk and Load, Zero Phonic, and Derek Dew.